Hey Tori. So I just watched Citizen Kane for my film class, and I figured before I read all these articles about the meaning of the film, I'd kind of give my own interpretation of what the meaning of it is. So, and I figure you're never going to see it, but spoilers are ahead. Uh, so basically, the movie starts out, and it's this guy, and he dies, and his last dying words are Rosebud. And so the whole movie is basically just trying to figure out why he said that and what it means and everything. And so a little backstory on it is that, like, this guy kind of grew up, and he was a little poor, but then his family inherited a lot of money, and so then he ended up growing up rich, and then... Uh, through backstories, people are just basically explaining his whole life, and um, towards the end of the movie, his second wife leaves him and just shows him being like not happy and everything. And so, in the very last scenes, you see this sled he had when he was a child, and they throw it into the fire and it's burning, and the name of the sled was Rosebud. So I feel like the whole point of this movie was just... Um, to show, like, with all the money, because he was one of the richest people in the world, he could buy anything he wanted, and he still wasn't kind of happy. So I feel like the reason he said Rosebud at the end was just because he's trying to, like, in his mind, revert back to a happier time when maybe he couldn't afford everything, but it was like, those were the things that made him happy, like this sled and living in the snow and kind of like a more simpler time. And I don't know if that's the real interpretation of it, and there's probably a lot more to it, and I'm going to read a lot more of it, but that's just, like, my initial reaction to why he said that. Um, this movie's also weird, because, like, critics regard it as one of the best movies of all time, and I don't think it is. Like, it's from the 40s, and I feel like at the time it might have been, like, the best movie of all time, because it was really innovative with a lot of the film techniques it has. So I feel like... A lot of those critics are just kind of saying that it's the greatest because of how innovative the movie was, but compared to modern movies, I feel like it just doesn't really stand up. But that's just kind of my own opinion. And if you ever want to watch it, it's really old, so it's probably on like YouTube or something. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good. It just, I don't think it was the greatest movie of all time.